All right, welcome back to the Midwest Music Meltdown. Again, we're here at Metropolitan Community Co College's Elkhorn Valley campus. So I do want to thank the college for letting us uh, do it here. Always a, a good time. Find security and janitorial staff and teachers and students to find school of learning. Anyway, uh, as always, I'm your host, Ryan Holt. Uh, we're sponsored by TMS, Theatrical Media Services, Audio Visions, Sailor's Grave, Tattoos, and OmahaNightOutGuide.com. I, I do appreciate all the sponsors and uh, definitely, uh, you know, want to say it uh, couldn't happen without you guys. And a huge shout out to my, my crew. Um, what, what do you say about the best crew in the, in the cosmos? But uh, very, very grateful. It's a, it's a good time. Um, Jess, that was uh, that was Blackbird. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about that. How did uh, how did that song come about? Well, that song has a pretty good story behind it. I was in Vegas for the first time with my brother, my mom, and your my brother, brother and your mom. My brother, and my mom. How do you go to Vegas with your brother and your mom? I have a fun family. I'm just <laughs> lucky. And then there too, my my mom's husband and my brother's girlfriend. So I was definitely the, you know, fifth wheel, whatever, but right. um, yeah, we were all in Vegas and it was my first time, they had all been before, and it was fun, you know, I spent a lot of money and right. ate a lot of food and drank a lot of booze. Did you win <laughs> any money though? I did, but I spent it, right. I, I think the most I won was maybe 75, okay. then I put it back into blackjack, so. So you're blackjack girl. <laughs> yeah. I would have played more, but just... I'm not a, too much of a risk taker when it comes to, to that kind of risk, I guess. You know, I, I can't stand gambling. I hate losing, right? <laughs> Especially know. my money. Well, I get mad at myself, not the system. Right, that's so what I like, mean. So it's like, why even do it? Right. So but, I'm kind of anti-personal, but that's your thing, you know, <laughs> whatever. So we're in Vegas, and um, I'm really hungover one day, and my family and everybody wants to go out. And I'm like, I'm not going out. I'm done going out. So right. I stay in and I go out on the back porch and take my guitar and I start just messing around with it and it's daytime and and I start humming to it and this bird, I don't know what kind of bird it is, but starts whistling but it's or, or chirping, whatever. Uh -huh. And it's it sounds like it's laughing at me. So I'm <laughs> sitting there playing, it's like wah, 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 wah. Taunting, <laughs> taunting you. It was he was totally taunting me. You should come out and play, little girl. <laughs> but uh, so I'm playing the song and I just start laughing and so uh, you know I get the first line singing with the birds and then I just carried on and I, I related it to where I was in that time of my life which was you know, um, single and kind of learning who I am on, uh, of my own and mm -hmm. and everything. And um, the song was kind of about, you know, carrying on with life and eventually, you know, the people that you will love or will love you eventually just come into it. You can't like, you can't just like search for those things. You just got to live your life and do right and do good. And Absolutely. eventually good things happen. So that's... Car karma. Yes. Per se. Yeah, yeah, karma. So you have an amazing voice. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Talk about when you found that out and, and how that kind of, you know, how you really kind of nurtured that uh, through the years. Well, it was it was actually kind of a difficult process. I always sang when I was young um, in church and in school and stuff. But when I moved here from North Carolina, I had a really bad southern accent. And I started going to... A, or what I ended up doing was when I was singing, I was singing improperly and uh, because of my southern accent and instead of opening up my vocal cords, I was like smacking them together hmm. and the visual is really weird looking. Right. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I ended up forming uh, calluses on my vocal cords and I could wow. sing fine, but it was just a really raspy, you know, style of southern. singing. And it's not what I wanted, you know, I wanted more of the... I like the raw, but I like it pretty raw, you know? Right. So I ended up seeing a vocal coach, and they, I went to vocal lessons and um, eventually lost my, you know, they got rid of my southern accent. I learned properly how to sing, and that's when I really started developing my own sound was when. Wow. It, there's a lot of technique behind singing. If you want to do it right and do it for a long time, there's, there's a lot of technique. But. And that was here in Omaha? Mm-hmm, yeah. 
Very cool. That was a few. I haven't had lessons for about two years now, but. Well, you, see, you know, uh, you hear all the time about uh, about people throwing out their voice, like as far as like, you know, famous singers mm -hmm. sometimes, and uh, that's that's really interesting that, that there's a lot of technique to that. There is, yeah. Um, obviously, you're trying to go to go to Nashville. Um, I just want to know what your biggest biggest dream is, right? Like, what uh, what's the what's the deal that's going to make you literally. Uh, you know, almost fall over? Well, I would say my biggest dream is to get my music out to impact people and their lives, you know, develop more as an artist and um, and just make a positive influence on people's lives and their ability to deal with situations, you know, whatever it may be, because a lot of my music is relatable, you know, things that, that I'm passionate about or that I experience and so it's easy for other people to relate to that so to be able to change people or not, or, or impact people <laughs> change them to be just like me no no uh, to be able to impact people and hopefully bring positive change into someone's life is, is what I meant to say but right. um, and then do it by by traveling the world you know I, I want to see the world I want to learn different cultures and which I'm going to Spain in uh, December and so you know just doing that is my ultimate dream and of course I love to perform I love to entertain so that's just a cherry on top but absolutely yeah. so who's like the biggest who's the person that you would uh, you know couldn't even talk in front of right oh who I couldn't talk in front of hmm Wh who's the who's the person that Jess Winter absolutely adores Besides Man. me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's hard to get me not to talk, but who would intimidate me the most? Absolutely. Would be Caleb from Kings of Leon. I'm a huge Kings of Leon fan. They are amazing. I got a uh, my my roommate's fiance got me into them a little bit. I got into them a long time ago, and then they got big. And I'm like, yes, they deserve it, you know. Right. So. And they didn't they play the Quest Center? Yeah. No, they played. Was it ago? Quest? Yeah, it was Quest. Yeah, I went to that. It was a really, it was a pretty good show. Very yeah. cool. It wasn't as packed as I thought it would be, but you know, sucks for the people that didn't go. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next well, time, go. Justwintermusic.com. Mm -hmm. You can get our music on iTunes as well. We're really trying to push iTunes right now. So. And just Facebook and MySpace.com/slash Justwinter. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. Awesome. Kids, go out see her live right check her out on the on the internet she's uh, she's always playing somewhere it seems in town um, again Omaha is a fantastic fantastic community full of great music and uh, I'm really glad that uh, that we got this to happen uh, it's been a, been a few months in the in the making so yes. really appreciate you coming out Thank um, you. <laughs> very very nice set uh, we're gonna end with one more song it's called it's true this is the one, the most recent song, the newest song out of all of them. Very cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens for your career. Due to me. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, this is Midwest Music Meltdown. Again, we're online, MidwestMusicMeltdown.tv. This is It's True by Jess Winter. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Can I forget this if I must just this pain for once? But one too many times you've crossed that thin line. One step from the edge, a giant fall from happiness. Don't tell me.
tears got living monster you'll cry it is fierce don't tell me it's true Is it true?